basically, if you want to talk about charisma in terms of YouTube videos, look no further than yours truly because I have, I have Riz, I have the Riz, I have infinite Riz. All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the one and only Wrestling Otaku channel, of course, your... There was a ridiculous 50-second intro to this video that I decided to just skip over. You're welcome. It is a Wednesday, uh, July the 26th of 2023. It's uh, about midday. Why am I not surprised this fat tub of melted ice cream is a die-hard AW fan? Past and uh, about to head into work in about an hour or so. But I want to go ahead and do this video because I felt the need to do this video because as you guys know, whenever I feel the need to speak on something, whenever I feel the need to talk about something, I'm right on here and I'm here to say what is on my mind and I don't care what anybody says because- Already you can tell he's going to spout some answer. stupid bullshit. Yours truly tells it like it is and you know that for a fact if you've been watching this channel long enough. So, so you know, we are here in 2023, right? We're here in the midst, in the middle, a little way past the midway point of 2023. We're in late July, going into late July, the 26th, as I mentioned before. And you would think that, you know, going going into a year, or going through a year, progressing through a year... Or, you know, Did you really long, just you say the same fucking of, thing three you know, times in a row? Full, you know, uh, advancement, progression, or whatever the case may be, maybe some change, you know, people will change, you, you don't think that over time people will better themselves or try and change themselves, or whatever the case may be, but in this instance, it doesn't seem like that's the case, because when I look at the grand scheme of things in society in general, in our, in our culture, in our fucking, shut up and get to the point, that you women, women of this generation have not changed, it is 2023 and you all are still trash. So, this is going to be one garbage. of those videos, isn't it? Overbearing as you always have been. You're still as conceited as you have been. You're superficial and as judgmental as you always have been. You're still as arrogant as you always have been. And this is the sort of shit that I've talked about in years past, in the videos past. And then I get flack for it. I get ridiculed for it. For what? For speaking the truth. Okay, that's what I do on here. I speak the truth. And Can and funny, overweight nerds, please stop saying they speak the truth. You're not George Carlin. You're not Bilber. You're a bunch of insoles mad that women don't want to have sex with you. The fact is, you women haven't changed one bit. You're still the same sour fucking bitches you always have been. And it's a damn shame. That Ironically, Fat L.A. and I here is the only one bullshit. acting like a sour bitch right now. Yeah. Then again, he is a fan of the Young Bucks. It's really ridiculous, man. Like, it's, it's fucking like, you, you broads don't change at all. Nothing about you, nothing about any of you has changed. You're still as fucking stuck up as you always have been. You never fucking learn. You never do. It's the same old shit. And then when I call this stuff out, I get called all kinds of names. I get people coming at me, coming at my my fucking throat for what for just calling stuff out like I see it. And, it's and for being a pudgy, creepy looking fan of a mediocre like professional wrestling show. Anyone else notice that woman in the background? I couldn't help but notice how fast she was walking. Not that I blame her. Fucking, you know, heavy, you know, ultra feminist, fem Nazi fucking rhetoric. All your hate, all your hate filled feminist agenda. Is it just me or does his shirt have a lot of suspicious white stains on it? That shit, all that garbage on every social media site out there talking about men ain't shit. Oh, they're worthless. Oh, they ain't this. They ain't that. The world would be better off without men in it and all that kind of stupid shit. I mean, I feel the same way watching this video right now. Good Lord. You check off every single red flag of a probable sex offender. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here with that hypocrite bullshit. Fuck out of here with that double standard bullshit. I hate to break it to you, buddy, but John Moxley made the middle finger completely worthless. It's like nobody calls this shit out. Well, quite frankly, more people need to call it out because more awareness needs to be brought to this. More awareness needs to be brought to what these cunts are fucking doing. More awareness needs to be brought to what these women are doing. They're manipulating the fucking system, dude. And it's a fucking goddamn crying shame.
Something tells me this guy also stands with that anime voice actor guy, Vic McDonald's. around on social media, taking all sorts of pics of yourself, videos, selfies of yourself, talking about, oh, look at how, look at me, look at how cute I am, look at how beautiful, sexy I am, look how hot I am, la da 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 and he prance that shit around and he posts all sorts of shit on social media and all these overly sexual fucking, you know, outfits and shit that you'd be wearing and all that shit. And then when fucking guys come on to you, you act like you're fucking offended by it. I'm like, oh, oh, no, these guys are bothering me. I can't find a good man. And all that stupid shit. And all that dumbass shit. All that hypocrite shit. Oh my god, this guy is every insult rolled into one. White knight and fucking guys, all up in the comments, all up in the fucking DMs, and what do these bitches do? They want to make fucking a mockery of these guys. They want to make a mockery of them. They want to sit here and talk about how well. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, he lied to me. Some motherfuckers up in your DMs, and what these bitches do is they want to fucking make fun of them. They want to mock them. You guys might want to watch the news this week, because I have a feeling who the next mass shooter is gonna be. And you know, a man was being a man, and you know, come up to a woman and ask him, you know, what, what the fuck ever. But instead, you want to make a mockery of it. You want to sit here and you want to post, you want to take screenshots, and you want And it's about time some of you motherfucking weak ass fucking guys, you sorry excuses for men, you sorry excuses for human beings, it's about time that you do the same. Because otherwise, the shit's going to keep continuing. Shit's going to keep happening. And it's a fucking joke. It's an atrocity. It's an embarrassment. You are an embarrassment to the human race. You are an embarrassment to our gender. Totally not like this guy. Fucking ridiculous, dude. Fucking ridiculous. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse to kowtow to anybody. The fa and the fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is... Jesus fucking Christ, learn how to speak on camera. You must mouth kitty diddler. You women, honestly, you need to be, honestly, legitimately, this is real talk here, you need to get down on your hands and your knees, and you need to be kissing my fucking ass. That's what you need to be doing. You need to get down on your hands and knees. You need to be kissing my feet. You need to be worshipping the fucking ground that I walk on. That's what you need to be doing. But obviously they're not going to do that. Of course not. Why would anyone worship some retarded beach whale who isn't allowed within 500 yards of an elementary school? So, it's what the fuck ever, man. But I'm just sick and tired of the double standard bullshit. You said that already. And then they'll throw these labels out there like, Oh, you're an incel. You're a virgin. You're this, you're that. Now hold on. You forgot to add future school shooter, soon to be child rapist, and current overweight autistic. Ten years ago when I was in my 20s, get the fuck out of here. I was pulling more tail in one calendar year than a lot of these pussy ass motherfuckers on the social media shit will ever pull in their lifetime. Oh yeah. Because women totally go crazy for obese neckbeards who wear tacky sunglasses and bitch about women not giving him head. Who the fuck are you fooling? Get the fuck out of here, dude. It's just uh, as time went on, especially from the last couple years, society's changed. The landscape has changed. We're coming out of a pandemic. We're coming out of all kinds of stuff. You got this LGBTQ stuff going on. Why am I not surprised that he hates gay people? And all that kind of shit. And then they act like they can just... They, they want to act like they want to try to oppress us, basically. I think that's what's going on. They're trying to oppress us men. That's what's going on. You such a delicate little bitch, ain't you? Where your pussy at? What you got in there? You women. You women, at some point, all that karma is going to fucking come back to get you. I swear to, I swear to fucking God. All this is going to come back to get you, okay? Everything, what goes around, comes around. All your little little trickery, all your little, little fucking pandering and all that fucking shit, all that shit's gonna come back to get you. And I can't wait for it. I can't wait for the day when it happens. You guys probably thought I was joking around when I called this guy a mass shooter. After that shit, tell me you're not getting mass shooter vibes from this Kenny Omega deck sucker. Get used to it. Because the wrestling otaku is here to fucking stay and ain't nobody. Nobody gonna do nothing about it. Is that a challenge? That's all I can take from this and wash neck bearded creep. 
Now, back to playing Spider-Man 2.